With diverse flora and fauna, magnificent natural landscapes, and an ecological biosphere that supports life, this wondrous planet is our earthly home. From my animal co-inhabitants to the lush rainforest and life-giving soil, we cherish all these gifts from the Creator. It is a common theme in the world's major faiths that during our temporary stay here we should be good stewards of Mother Earth. Throughout the years, Supreme Master Ching Hai has shared the message of leading a balanced life while following a spiritual path. Not only must we nourish our spirits, but we share the responsibility to care for nature and our fellow beings. In light of recent scientific evidence which pinpoint the raising of livestock as the number one contributor to climate change, Supreme Master Ching Hai affirms the important message she has noted for over the past two decades. We must be vegetarian, meaning an animal-free diet, and practice sustainable living. Today we present to you a discussion by Supreme Master Ching Hai titled Save Our Planet from the Karma of Killing a compilation of excerpts from Supreme Master Ching Hai's discussions concerning the detrimental impacts of the meat diet on human health, the environment and ultimately the health of our planet. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. I believe uh, science is doing a good job already in uh, diligently researching and informing the public about the critical stage on Earth that we are facing in terms of global warming. Without science, we probably, the majority of us, would not have known anything at all about our dire state of planetary crisis. If you mean the technology to minimize the global warming effect. There are some minimums that have been invented and installed, but the benefit is also minimum. Eh? Even with all the scientific research and invention, even if we could have invented something more, it takes a long time. It takes more than what we can afford right now to bring them into materialization, you see? All other technology take a long, long, long time also to be in the market, to materialize, if we can make it till then. In trying to minimize these dire effects, both scientific and spiritual approaches can be applied. Scientifically speaking, methane from livestock is a major contributor to global warming today. This has been documented by many different scientific bodies, the first of which, of course, was the United Nations report in 2006, everybody knows by now, called Livestock's Long Shadow. Since then, much more research has been published about livestock, meat production, and greenhouse gases. One fact is clear. If we stop meat consumption and livestock raising, we will also eliminate one of the most heat-trapping gases, which is methane. And since this gas disappears more quickly from the atmosphere, the planet will cool almost immediately. This will also address problems like the melting permafrost, which will otherwise emit more methane if nothing is done to halt it. We cannot blame the scientists or any scientific technology for the problem 
of our planet today. They have done their best. Even the spiritual people or non-spiritual people, we have to do our best as well. The fate of our planet is in our hands. Before the scientists can do anything to help us, uh, Professor John Shell Huber, founding director of uh, Germany's Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research and also chief government advisor on climate change to the German government, told Supreme Master Television in an interview that without changing course, our currently unsustainable practices will lead to a big crash. That's to quote him. And to stop this crash from being many times bigger, we have to act now. Professor Shell Huber said that the world's population cannot be sustained on the energy and land demands of a meat diet. So a switch to vegetarianism or veganism is needed to continue supporting our life on earth. So this is the scientific perspective. But you are right also about uh, approaching climate change from a spiritual standpoint. Every religion speaks in some way of the law of karma, or as you sow, so shall you reap. This is explained through science as a principle of physics, which says every action causes an equal consequence. So the law of karma and science are the same, meaning that whatever we do is returned to us. From this perspective, we would obviously wish to avoid killing, otherwise we will reap the killing karma in return. Otherwise, teachings of past and present masters have thus espoused only love and kindness toward one another. Thou shall not kill is a basic precept of any faith. Therefore, we must return fully to our noble spiritual heritage. Only this can bring us permanent safety and protection by begetting the mercy of heaven in which we can take refuge. Muchas gracias.